Welcome back to This Is Rifle Country, and today it's freaking cold in rifle country. It's like, uh, I don't know, 25 degrees. What I have in front of me right now is a gun that I really never thought would exist. This is the High Point 10 millimeter carbine. Now the 10 millimeter was a cartridge that was very popular in the 1980s and into the 90s. And about midway through the 90s it started losing popularity. But it's back, oddly enough, it is back. But the 10 millimeter has always been a serious shooter's cartridge, a professional shooter's cartridge, a serious shooter's pistol cartridge, and this is the 10 millimeter. This is a high point carbine, and what is high point known for? They're known for their entry level, price point, inexpensive pistols and carbines. So what we have, strangely enough, is we have a serious shooter's <laughs> cartridge with an entry level shooter's carbine. I know it's crazy, right? But it works. Starting from the rear, what they've done is they put a spring-loaded butt pad right there. It's spring-loaded for a little bit extra cushion. They put a padded cheek piece, which is really nice, so that you don't get a the shock uh, in right directly into your cheek. Uh, this is a 10-round magazine. 10-round magazine feeds the action. And obviously we have a rail up here with a rear sight. What I've done is I went to the Brownells catalog and I ordered a Vortex Optic Crossfire. And this is a red dot, a one-to-one -one red dot, which obviously you can mount on here. This is a pick slash, uh, I don't know if it's genuine 113 or not, but let's just call it a, a weaver rail. Now what I've done, now don't, don't write me letters. I removed the front sight tower because I'm using this and it's easy to remove. So uh, if you want to leave it there, great. I just cleaned it up and I actually like the way it looks better, clean like this. Uh, they do include a threaded muzzle. And this is a standard 45 ACP muzzle thread pitch. Now if you flip it over, you can see that uh, your charging handle is on the left side, which is good because it's easy for you to hold on to it with your right hand. If you're a righty, work the charging handle. You have your manual safety lever. When you see red, that means fire, obviously. And then underneath, I didn't mention it before, but underneath here, you have a rail to mount a light or a laser or whatever makes you happy. So the 10 millimeter carbine, I've had this actually for not quite a year and I've run probably close to the neighborhood of 200, between 200 and 300 rounds through it. And you say, that's not a lot. Well, when you're shooting 10 round magazines and 10 millimeter ammo, which ain't free, uh, that's actually pretty good. What does this gun like? Well, it likes everything. I've run the lightweight, relatively lightweight, 150 grain uh, bullets, projectiles, uh, all the way, everything in the middle, all the way up to 180 grain. 10 millimeter ammo, let's talk about 10 millimeter ammo real quick. 10 millimeter ammo is not as popular as it used to be, so it's a little bit tougher to find. I did go to the Brownells catalog, I went to their website, and they have a number of different loads of 10 millimeter auto in stock right now. So if you're looking for 10 mil auto and your local shop doesn't have it, you can go to brownells.com and you can find it there. Use their promo code and get it delivered for free or what have you. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the gun that I never thought uh, would ever exist, but it is a 10 millimeter high point carbine. 